This story just keeps impressing. Hello every pony, Winged T Spears here, and I'm back to do another two chapters of Cuddling is the Best Remedy. This reading will contain the chapters Dinner and Hearts and Hooves Day, so I won't waste any more time because I'm really eager to start this one and I'm sure you are all just as eager to hear it. So, without further ado, let's get going. Thank you all so much for listening, every pony. Bonus chapter. Dinner. You awake from your peaceful slumber and give out a small yawn. Rubbing your eyes, you take notice that your hand is still resting over Rainbow's heart, its beating relaxing you. You look left at the clock on your bedside table. It's 4.30pm. 4.30? Goodness, you slept for nearly three hours. You look to the Pegasus in your arms and get an idea. Slowly, you crawl out of your bed and stand, stretching slightly. You give a glance at the Pegasus and run a hand through her mane. A smile dawns her lips, and a smile dawns your face as well. Turning around, you walk into the hallway and turn to your left. Once you reach the living room, you turn right and finally reach your destination, the kitchen. You pull open the refrigerator and pull out some fish for you and a head of lettuce for your mare. Fish is the only meat readily available for humans in Ponyville. You are thankful for that. Placing a pan on the stove, you prepare to sear the fish by running the meat under running water to clean it. Turning on the stove, you wait for the pan to heat up, as you begin to cut the head of lettuce in preparation for a salad for rainbow. With the pan heated, you place the fish in the pan and season it with some black pepper. Turning your attention back to rainbow's food, you pull out some tomatoes and cucumbers and begin to cut them. You may not be the best when it comes to a vegetarian dish. At best, all you can do is a simple salad. But it makes her happy. Within moments, the salad is finished, and about ten minutes later, the fish is done as well. Going into the living room, you sit down on the couch and wait. A few minutes later, you hear the sound of hooves coming down the hall. Dash is awake. Hey there, Dash. Did you sleep well? She walks over to the couch and lies down in your lap. Yeah, thanks to you, she says with a small smile rubbing her head against your chest. Come on, I got dinner ready. She nods and jumps off of you, making her way to the table. You go to the kitchen and grab the salad and fish and place them on the dining room table. Dash sees the fish and does not even give a reaction. You remember when she told you she had a griffin friend, and from what you read they had an appetite for meat. You both just sit and look into the other's eyes for a while before digging in. Dash bites into the salad and looks at you. It's good, but could use a little more fruit next time. All you can do is smile and nod to her. I'll try to make it to your standards next time. You give her a chuckle. She smiles and returns to her meal. Your eyes never leave her. Dash looks up at you, noticing your stare. What? she asks. You're just so beautiful, you say, reaching out a hand to grasp her hoof. I don't know what I would do without you in my life. Her eyes sparkle with love. You have brought me so much joy that I can't even remember the last time I was so happy. You know this came out of nowhere, but you felt it was something that needed to be said to your mare. She gets off her seat and trots over to embrace you wrapping her hooves around you. You wrap your arms around her in response, enjoying the feeling of closeness and peace her embrace brings. Pulling back, you both return to your meals. You both sit in silence for a while after that, until Dash breaks the silence. Thank you, she says. For what? you ask. For being so sweet and loving, she says. I have never felt so beautiful in my life. I was afraid I would never find some pony to love. Until I found you. She sniffles a bit and continues. 
There were nights I stayed awake, just wishing I could be held by some pony who loves me. You get up and walk to her, and take Dash into your arms of love. And now that I have you, I no longer have to do that. No. No, you don't. She nuzzles you and softly whispers. You make me so happy. You kiss her forehead. Now how about we save these kinds of talks for when there is not any food? She giggles. You started it. She says, sticking out her tongue. I did, you say with a smirk. The two of you continue to eat on in silence, basking in each other's presence as you do. Hey, Dash? Yeah? When did you get so sappy? She smiles and says, A couple days after moving in with you. I just wanted to act that way around you. You seem to enjoy it as much as I do. You chuckle and give her a nod. To be honest, Dash may seem a bit out of her character when she is alone with you, but you would not have it any other way. You enjoy how protective, loving and caring she is. Heck, you thought Dash would have lectured you for getting hurt at work. Instead, she got emotional. Wow, she must love you a lot to come in crying. Or it may have something to do with her limited knowledge on the human body. Your fork hits the plate. Looking down, you notice that your plate is empty. Dash is already in the kitchen putting her plate in the sink. Getting up from the table, you make your way to the kitchen and put your plate in the sink. Shortly thereafter, you and Dash cuddle on the couch. She rests her head under your chin her wings wrapping around both sides of your body, her right hoof resting over your heart. Your arms wrapped tightly around her. Closing your eyes, you let the feeling of closeness pull you to sleep. Bonus chapter. Hearts and Hooves Day. Today is a very special day. Today is Hearts and Hooves Day in Ponyville. You've had a hard time hiding a special gift that you designed with rarity. A ruby, sapphire, lemon quartz and diamond encrusted necklace pendant of rainbow's cutie mark. Rarity supplied the gemstones, while a friend of hers supplied the pendant. Rainbow has been rather curious as to why you have been spending so much time with rarity. Though you have told her time and time again she has nothing to worry about, she still remains suspicious. Rarity is meeting you in the park today to deliver the finished necklace, and you are being extra careful in case a certain blue pegasus is following you. Making your way to the park, you keep your eyes in the sky constantly. Luckily, there is no sign of rainbow. You see Rarity laying on a blanket under a shady tree. She sees you and waves as you start walking towards her. Did you get it? Why, of course, my dear, she says pulling out a small box. Opening the box, you immediately gaze upon the brilliant pendant and smile. Oh, she is going to love this, you say to Rarity. Well, of course she is, darling. The fact it's coming from you will make it all the more special to her. You really think so? Rarity nods in response. Thank you for your help, Rarity. You're welcome. She gives you a friendly hug. Oh, sorry to cut this short, but I have to fix a candlelit dinner tonight. Well, you better hurry on home. It's almost sundown. You nod and give her your thanks once more before turning and walking away. On your way home, you could not help but think about tonight. Dash wanted a little more fruit in her salad the last time you made dinner. This time you will make Dash the perfect salad. Reaching your front door, you push it open and notice Dash is not home yet. It saddens you a little, but you have to make a nice dinner. You're not in the mood for fish tonight, so you will make a salad for yourself as well. Opening the fridge, you pull out a head of lettuce, a tomato, cucumber and strawberries. You immediately set to work, and in a matter of seconds, you have diced lettuce. Pulling the tomato over, you cut it thinly making sure you have equal portions. Once that's done, 
you begin to chop the cucumber thin as well. You only use half of the cucumber, so you put the other half back in the fridge. You work on the strawberries next, dicing them into cubes. Dash suddenly walks through the front door. Hey there, big guy, Dash says. Stopping your knife work, you make your way over to her and give her a big hug. How's my mare doing? Uh, I'm a little tired. How about you? You give Dash a smile and say, I'm making dinner. You make your way back to the kitchen and begin to bowl the salads. You crumble a bit of blue cheese onto yours. Hey Dash, want any blue cheese on your salad? Yes, please. You crumble some cheese onto her salad and bring your bowls to the table. You both eat in silence as you just simply enjoy each other's company. Hey, Dash? Yeah? You know I love you, you say. And I love you. So, what would you say to this? You ask, pulling out the small box and opening it. Rainbow's eyes widen when she sees the pendant. That's my... Happy Hearts and Hooves Day, my love, you say, placing the necklace around her. Her lips are pressed to yours affectionately. She prolongs the kiss by wrapping her hooves around you. You return her passion and wrap your arms around her. She is acting like this is the last kiss she will ever have with you. And you love it. She breaks the kiss and says... This must have cost you a fortune. Should I pay you back? You smile and kiss her forehead. That kiss was more than enough payment. How did you even afford a custom pendant like this? Did Rarity have some part in this? You smile. Well, she did supply the gems and paid for half the pendant. I said I would pay for it, but she insisted she pay for half of it. Rainbow kisses you once more. I only wish I had something to give you. Dashie's ears fall. Placing a hand on her cheek, you look directly into her eyes. Don't worry about it. I'm happy you like your present. That's all that matters. Remember, today is about you, Rainbow. She nuzzles you. You spoil me. What did I do to deserve you? You chuckle. You were Rainbow Dash, the mare of my dreams, the love of my life, the mare that makes every day worth living. Dash, without you I would probably still be depressed. You gave me hope when I had none, and now you give me the love I never thought I would get. (laughs) I love you so much. Tears stream down your face and you clutch Dash tighter. Dash has her head in your chest, silently weeping into it. She feels so protected, so loved. You both remained embraced for a while, just enjoying the closeness and warmth in your hearts. I love you so much, Dash. Please. (laughs) Please. Don't ever leave me. By this point, your meals are forgotten. You two simply call it a night and go to bed. You slide in and close the gap between you and your mare. Your arms are wrapped tightly around her. Her hooves rest against her chest and her wings are draped around you. You give Rainbow another kiss before you each say your good nights. Through the night, Rainbow had a grin on her face. Rainbow Dash feels more loved than any other mare tonight. Her dreams are filled with the two of you running and playing in a field of roses. You eventually tackle her, and she giggles, having the time of her life. Tonight was a very special night for the beautiful mare. The End Well, I hope you all enjoyed that, every pony. It's really hard not to cry while reading that. This story is so cute, and I hope there are many more chapters to be added to this story. The cuteness just never ends. 
it's that fantastic. So the next time you hear from me, I shall be bringing you an Octoscratch Klopfek. I haven't read Octavia in a while, so this should be interesting. So until then, I shall bid you all farewell. Bye.